we are surrounded by electronic appliances that make our day-to-day -day lives so easy and comfortable. We already know that these run on electricity. Electricity comes to us through a wire from a huge electricity generator plant in which mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy using induction. But what is inside these electricity generators? Can we generate our own electricity? Let's see how. This is what we will need. An insulated copper wire, neodymium magnets, an LED, a cutter and a 5 ml syringe. First, take the copper wire and wind a bit of it around your fingers. Now, tuck the wound part inside the syringe like this. Now wind the wire around the syringe for about 1000 turns. Make sure that the winding is in the center of the syringe. Now remove the tucked part and your syringe will look like this. You will need to remove the insulation from the ends of the two ends of the copper wire. Attach these ends to the LED. We will need to remove the rubber cap from the piston. Now put the magnets inside the syringe and seal it with the rubber cap. Notice how your generator is now ready. The more vigorously you shake the syringe, the brighter your LED glows. The electricity generation depends on the number of turns of the coil, the strength of the magnet and how vigorously you shake the magnets, that is the motion. This can be explained by Fleming's right hand rule. Your thumb, index finger and middle finger are at right angles with each other. The thumb represents the direction of the motion. The index finger represents the direction of the current and the middle finger represents the direction of the magnetic field. See how simply we can generate our own electricity?